there is something that is on every supermarket shelf worldwide and it's found in most of our, um, our foods that we eat and this is what is known as you know cane sugar and in the process of making sugar then there is a black liquid that is left after the sugar has been made and that black liquid is what contains you know most of the nutrients and everything but this black liquid is often used to feed livestock <laughs> you know on the contrary and you know the empty food which is the sugar is placed on our shelves for our consumption and this black stuff that i'm speaking about is blackstrap molasses molasses is very good for the skin it helps to tighten your skin it helps to close up your pores molasses gives you a glow it helps you to look younger to feel younger it helps with different skin conditions like acne like eczema like um, cirrhosis and just to name a few molasses just helps overall with skin health and this is why I am going to show you today how we can do a molasses facial so with that being said let's go right ahead this is Blackstrap molasses, you can get it at any of your health food stores. Sometimes they even sell it at regular supermarkets. And I only got it for $4.79. That's about as much as I need today. So I'm just going to dip my fingers in here and just apply to my face. I probably shouldn't have worn white. Not the smartest thing to do, knowing that I'm very clumsy. But it's good anyway <laughs> okay so this is what it should look like and you would probably want to apply you know the fascia in a mirror so you can see exactly what you're doing and by the way I should have said this but viewers discretion is advised <laughs> um, so you leave this on for about 30 minutes you go around you do whatever you have to do and when you're done you just come back well <laughs> you wash it off okay so 30 minutes has gone by and the molasses is really tight on my face, so it's time to wash off. So, let's do that. This is this is very messy right now, as you can see, <laughs> but that's okay. Now I'm going to wipe off my face with a towel. <sighs> don't I look refreshed? <laughs> I don't even know. I can't see myself. <laughs> but hopefully I do and you know this reminds me of Matthew 17 2 it says and when he was transfigured his face you know did shine as the Sun and his clothes was as white as raiment and just his Jesus's countenance was just you know it was lit up it was glowing you know as the Sun and when we think of the Sun the Sun is bright and also in Malachi 4 verse 2 it says unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings so this Sun is you know it's not just the physical shining of our faces you know not just our faces looking um, pretty or glowing or you know shining on the outside but it's something that shines from the inside and I know that when it shines from the inside it radiates to the outside and remember to live God's plan daily prevention is always better than cure <laughs> 